Hey, hey, Tiger Crisis Podcast, uh, extra episode here. Um, this is uh, in relationship to the episode three of Tiger King on Netflix about Carol Baskin's potential murder of her husband, Don Lewis. Um, I just want to say I'm a comedian. If you are in any way offended about the ideas of murder, if you've been affected by murder in any way in your life, please tune out. We don't want to upset you. If you yourself have been murdered uh, or the victim of murder, uh, please uh, feel free to shut this off. Uh, If you haven't been murdered, uh, feel free to keep listening. I think it's interesting that the only thing we really learn in uh, in the episode three of the Tiger Crisis, the Tiger uh, King documentary, is that pretty much you can get away with murder. Uh, if you just Google a little bit in Florida about unsolved murders, it's like numerous, numerous cases of murders that are never solved. And that's murders that we know about where there are bodies. So pretty much if you want to get away with murder, don't ever let anybody find the body. That's that's a simple thing. That's a, if there's doubt, then there's no way to ever catch you for murder. Unless you confess, you're good. No body equals no murder. So keep that in mind. I think it's interesting that we're all sort of uh, infatuated with these murder type of shows, these true documentary, true crime type documentaries. And I think it's because we're all sort of acutely aware of the fact that that could be us, uh, that murders. I don't think that mo- most of us think that we're going to be murdered. I think a lot of us think that it's possible that we might murder somebody. Because if you're like me, there's a couple times a day in public where you're kind of like this. It's It could go either way. Somebody cuts you off in traffic and you got a baseball bat in your car. Next thing you know, you're going to chase somebody down for a while. I think it's weird. I think it's weird that we're looking at these true crime documentaries to try to figure out why people murder. I think we know why people murder, especially in this day and age. I think we need to look at it from the other side. I really think we need to start looking at murders from the from the other side. I think we need to start looking at the types of people that are being murdered And let's decide if there's even a crime being committed. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, if you're a dick, maybe you deserved it, right? Like, look, okay, okay, look, let's back up. If you're a woman and you get murdered by a dude, we have to solve that crime. That's clear. But if you're a dude and you get murdered by another dude, like, let's go through the details a little bit. Like, what did you do? Do you know what I mean? Like, you might be an asshole. Like, they always go to the neighbors and they're like, look, can you think anybody want to murder who would have wanted to murder Brian? They always go to the neighbor and they're like, look, can you think of anybody who would have wanted to murder Brian? If they say, like, more than one person, that's done. That's that's over. You can't have more than one person at a time wanting to murder you or you sh- will die. That's kind of how it works, right? Like, I'm a good person, relatively speaking. I've not put myself in a situation where anybody wants to murder me. That's why I'm still alive. People that get murdered a lot of times put themselves in a situation to be murdered. Don't cheat on your wife. Don't do crazy things. Don't have a girlfriend in Costa Rica. Don't do things to crazy people that puts you at risk. That's really that's this is like nature's law. Like every time you try to murder somebody, somebody else is going to try to murder you back as a response to that murder. So the types of people that are being murdered are are putting themselves in situations that they shouldn't have to be put involved in. Um, It's just weird. And then if you're going to murder, I think you need to murder in a smart way. Number one, get rid of the body. Make sure there's no body. Make sure there's no weapon. We've all seen the mafia movies, shoot somebody, get rid of the weapon immediately. They can't trace it. If it's not yours, not in your car, they don't know where it came from. You could just claim the gun's not there. You're good. Whatever. Get rid of the serial numbers. Whatever you're doing, right? Get rid of the murder weapon. They can't trace it back to you. Uh, Then the other one is like just murder in places where there's too many people. And if you really want to get away with murder, don't murder anybody you know. I know that's hard because, you know, Christmas birthdays. I get it, you know, but if you really want to get away with murder, you just have to murder a stranger and then they really have no way to find out that you were there. There's no connection that you have to this person. Um, Get rid of the body, murder a stranger, right? Murder in a big city. That's that's another way to do it. There's so many other suspects. If you murder in a big city, the probability that they locate it to you is pretty, honestly, like in New York City, nobody's even checking on anybody. Like I could die in my apartment in New York City and no one would know for like two months. Like I, I would have, I would start to rot through the floorboards before anybody would find out that I actually was dead. 
So that's a good tactic, right? Like if you murder somebody in like Wyoming where no people are, then like people are going to notice that this person didn't show up to work or that they're not like walking around. Uh, or I guess you could just murder somebody who's an introvert who's lonely. You could do that. But pretty much the worst way to murder somebody is like crime of passion uh, on a split instinct. If you plan a murder, most likely you're going to be fine. There's so many people right now in prison for murder that didn't murder anybody because the cops were just pressured to solve the crime. And then there's so many murders that have no solution that just have never been solved and then there's a whole other slew of missing people who will never be found because they've been murdered but nobody there's no evidence to say that they've been murdered here's another tip you don't want to murder anybody who uh, has value in society like don't murder like a beautiful woman don't murder a child right that's why we got the amber alerts we find those people right away Silver alert. Think about it. Has any of us ever looked at the, the license plate on the silver alert and ever tried to go find these people? No. If you want to really get away with murder, just kill a random old person and nobody's ever going to go looking for you. It's like, look, they were going to go anyway. So I think these are the good tips of how to get away with a murder if you need to. Uh, if you're listening to this and you're offended uh, and you also watch the Tiger King documentary i don't know what type of person you are do you know what i'm saying like you can't be both watching tiger king for the the like the crazy emotional journey the hysterical vibe of the people the accusations of someone who murdered somebody but there's no evidence like you can't watch that show and then watch this and then get mad in the middle so that's my take if you want to murder somebody there's thousands of ways to do it carol baskin is uh is a good uh, you know, piece of evidence as to why it's possible and how you can do it. Pretty much uh, a big one, honestly, is don't go around telling people the ways that you didn't kill somebody. That's an OJ move. That's a that's a Carol Baskin move. That's an amateur move. I think we all know Carol's going to get caught soon because of the whole uh, per perspective uh, commentary that she's been involved in. But pretty much, if you murder somebody who nobody knows, who has low value, there's no body in a populated area, you have no connection to them, and you planned it in any way, shape, or form, you didn't keep the weapon, um, I think you're good, honestly. I think you're going to be fine. If you really want to murder somebody, um, there's ways to do it. So take my advice on this. Again, guys, this is a speculative podcast. I'm a comedian. If you don't find this funny, that's fine. Uh, but I had a lot of fun talking about it. So uh, like, subscribe, share. Thank you guys for being a part of this. We put out two episodes a week, one fun debate, short episode, and one long, inquisitive episode about the Tiger King documentary. We're just getting our, uh, our feet on this thing, so we're going to hope to be more entertaining and more fun as we move on. Thank you guys so much for listening and watching. This podcast was created on Anchor app. A uh, very fun, free, easy way to make a podcast. Maybe too easy. Maybe that's why you're here. Thank you for listening.